this is a beautiful question okay in this question like you know as we discussed previously flux density is not a term to play with now see this question estimate reduction in volume of reduction of volume expresses the percentage of original volume of a core iron copper in a transformer when original steel plates worked at flux density of 0.8 tesla are replaced by others of silicon steel worked at 1.2 tesla assuming total flux to remain same assume square core okay so in this question 0.8 to 0.8 tesla to 1.2 tesla i'm not changing the flux density in a given material okay means for example for one material it is 0.8 tesla if that material is replaced with another material that flux density is 1.2 tesla so point to be noted here is i'm not changing from 0.8 tesla to 1.2 tesla in a given material but material itself is being changed okay now let us analyze this theoretically okay now flux is constant okay in a transformer flux will be constant because v1 supply voltage is going to be constant if supply voltage is constant means of course rms value ac value rms value of uh, in injected voltage is constant if v1 is constant e1 should be constant if e1 is constant what is e1 so e1 is going to be root 2 pi f p max ac n now is this question operating engineer question or design engineer question is going to be design engineer because flux density is being changed but anyway if you think of total flux okay in a given transformer what will happen v1 supply voltage is going to be constant so e1 is going to be constant okay so if v1 is constant means root 2 pi anyway universal constant and the number of turns is going to be constant for operating engineer so b max ac frequency anyway normal given frequency so if v1 is constant e1 should be constant operating flux of a transformer will be constant anyway we'll discuss more about this operating flux in loaded condition of transformer very soon that is the next phase anyway flux is constant so for a given flux for example if you think of flux what is flux flux density into area of cross section of the core okay as i discussed previously we should not depend upon formulas okay machines is beyond formulas now for a given flux if flux density is increased area of cross section of the core will be reduced okay so if area of cross section of the core is reduced what about volume of core volume of core is nothing but area of cross section of the core multiplied by length of the limb okay so about the length of the limb did they give any information no so length of the limb should be considered as constant okay now if flux density is increased by some x percentage okay if flux density is increased by some x percentage for a given flux area of cross section of core should be reduced by x percentage okay if area of cross section of core is reduced by x percentage means that volume of core will be reduced by x percentage okay so directly let me write volume of percentage of reduction of volume of copper uh, sorry core percentage reduction in volume of core okay means i don't want to write any equations here okay so let me repeat it again if flux density is increased by x percentage area of cross section of the core will be reduced by x percentage so volume of core requirement will be reduced by x percentage so directly like you know volume of core percentage reduction is going to be original volume minus no new second volume divided by original volume into 100 percent so is going to be first one is 1.8 tesla so 1 by 0.8 minus 1 by 1.2 divided by first case second case divided by first case into 100 percent is going to be the answer of course you don't get it at starting at the end you will get it anyway i will explain uh, in other way also so is going to be 33.3 percent so if flux density is increased of course again uh, let me repeat my core metal itself is changed okay so if flux density is increased by x percent volume of core is going to be reduced by x percent now let me think of percentage reduction in volume of copper okay now let me tell you for example this is the limb transformer limb 
okay in this transformer limb for example area of cross section of the core is this for example if i am the limb okay if i am the limb what will be my area of cross section is going to be i have to cut it like this so this is going to be uh, area of cross section now upon this i have to keep my windings okay so for example if i am the limb if i am the limb my wires copper wires should rotate around me around me okay so what is length of copper requirement per turn is going to be perimeter or circumference for example if i am the limb means my perimeter here is going to be the length of copper per turn requirement so for example if this is the area of cross section of the core what is length of copper per turn is going to be perimeter so so this is going to be length of copper per turn now come back here if flux density is increased area of cross section of the core is reduced if area of cross section of the core is reduced automatically perimeter around it will be reduced if perimeter is reduced length of copper per turn will be reduced now did they give any information about number of turns no so for a given number of turns if length of copper per turn is reduced what is volume of copper volume of copper is nothing but length of copper multiplied by area of cross section of copper now did they give any information about area of cross section of the copper no so area of cross section of the copper is going to be constant so means volume of copper reduction is going to be length of copper reduction is nothing but perimeter reduction now if area of cross section let me come start from uh, starting if flux density is increased by x percent area of cross section of the core will be reduced by x percent okay means that my perimeter will be reduced by root x percent okay why because means if it is ac area of cross section of the core in a square core what is side here side here is going to be under root of ac under root of ac now if ac is reduced by x percent my what do you say side will be reduced by under root of x percent now what is length of copper per turn is nothing but perimeter so perimeter is nothing but four times side if side is reduced by root x percent automatically length of copper per turn will be reduced by root x percent means that volume of copper reduction will be root x so is going to be 1 by 0.8 under root minus 1 by 1.2 under root divided by 1 by 0.8 under root into 100 percent will give you 18.35 percent okay now though like you know at starting you may feel difficulty in understanding this but this is the way we have to do in gate exam we should not depend upon formulas but few guys like you know without seeing the formulas they may feel kind of friction to understand so means in gate this is the way we have to solve but let me explain this let me explain this from formula or like you know equations point of view but i hate to go through equations point of view but anyway see here flux is going to be constant so if flux is constant equal to flux density into area of cross section of the core is going to be constant so means the moment it is constant area of cross section of core is inversely proportional to flux density equal to some proportionality constant k into flux density now ac1 area of cross section of core in the first case with 0.8 tesla as the flux density is going to be k divided by 0.8 area of cross section of core in second case is going to be same as k by 1.2 now if you apply for example let me see here if area of cross section of the core is this much is reduced okay so percentage volume of core reduction is going to be k by 0.8 ac1 minus ac2 divided by ac1 because area of cross section of the core changes we know but length of the limb we don't know because he did not give any information so length of the limb should be constant minus k divided by 1.2 divided by k divided by 0.8 into 100 percent same equation same equation okay now let me think of in this case square core he said okay so in square core what is side each side okay so what is each side here each side is going to be under root of ac so is going to be under root of ac under root of k divided by 0.8 similarly what is s2 s2 equal to under root of 
k divided by 1.2. Now, what is length of copper pattern? Length of copper pattern is going to be, as I said, perimeter. For example, if it is square core, length of copper pattern is going to be this much. So, length of copper pattern is going to be 4 times side. So, 1, 4s1. S2 is going to be 4 times, sorry, length of copper pattern in the second case is going to be 4 times S2. Now, if length of copper is reduced by X percentage, means perimeter is reduced by X percentage or maybe root X percentage, okay. If length of copper is reduced, automatically length of copper requirement will be reduced. So, that is the percentage saving we can say. So, in this case, it is going to be length of copper pattern in the first case minus in the second case divided by first case. So, this is going to be 4 times S1 is under root of K divided by 0.8 minus 4 times K divided by 1.2 divided by 4 times under root of K divided by 0.8 into 100%. Okay. Now, if you see same equation, okay so basically in gate we have to do this way only rather than going this lengthy way okay so this is the shortest way possible